Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome to The Conservative Poet with me, Amanya. I'm so happy that you're here today. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Let's do it. So today, friends, we are in with the press secretary in the briefing, and she's talking all about the hero that has come home to the American bosom. We're talking about Brittany Griner. Um, yeah, that's who we're talking about. So from you, what you saw from the thumb, thumbnail, the hero, the killer, I went with Dyke, but eh, I thought that might be a little bit too much. So I said LGBTQ. See, I'm trying to censor my own self, right? I'm censoring myself for the cause um, because I got a strike this week from YouTube. So I want to make sure that I'm not saying things that I'm not supposed to. So Corinne Jean-Pierre, the press secretary, is having her press conference and she's answering questions in reference to this whole um, swap between the killer and the LGBTQ. And so we're going to get into the press room. There is a bonus in this video where the press secretary herself loses it over a reporter and walks off, walks off the podium. She literally packed up her stuff and walked out. If you're interested in seeing that, let's go. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. President Biden keeps his promises, and today he fulfilled a deeply important promise to bring Brittany Griner home to a family that loves her, a team that misses her, and a country that has marveled at her strength and courage. Brittany's safe return home is the product of months and months of painstaking negotiations that were the culmination of extraordinary efforts across the U.S. government. Officials from the White House, the State Department, and across the administration worked tirelessly and relentlessly to see this moment through. At we had all hands on deck. All hands were on deck to ensure the safety of Brittany Grinder returning back to the bosom of the American people. All hands were on deck. We have been engaging in intense negotiations with Russia, pursuing many different avenues over the course of last six months to secure Brittany's release. And we know Brittany fought tirelessly too. Throughout her ordeal, we saw Brittany, a two-time Olympic gold medalist, for Team USA, demonstrate strength, courage, and dignity. As the president said this morning, she represents the best of America. Brittany represents the best of America. She is not only black, but she's black, she's lesbian, LGBT, she is a woman for now, but she represents everything good in America. Brittany Grind, the best that America has to offer. The best that America has to offer. To Sherelle Griner a couple of hours ago, who is looking forward to seeing Brittany as soon as she returns home later today. Sherelle, Sherelle the wife or the partner of Brittany Grinder. She is looking forward to seeing her lover. How wonderful it is. What a reunion. What a reunion to bring these two lesbians back together. It's a wonderful thing. Imagine the magic that's going to happen this night. Oh, imagine the magic that's going to happen this night with those two wives. On a personal note, Brittany is more than an athlete, more than an Olympian. She is an important role model and inspiration to millions of Americans, particularly the LGBTQI plus Americans and women. Brittany is so important to the movement, the LGBTQ and now I. 
we've added a new letter to the alphabet. I, Brittany is a role model for all of the women that we are trying to get into this community, this LGBTQI community. Brittany is critical to our plans. My God, we are bringing her home so she can do the work right here at home in America. As for the other guy, well, it was either Brittany or Brittany. He didn't really stand a chance. Our focus was getting Brittany Griner home because she is able to do such great work in our movement, in our community. Yeah, there was no choice really. It was Brittany. Brittany. She should never have been detained by Russia. Yeah, we know she smuggled drugs into their country, but hey, who, who, who's counting? She should have never been detained. That was wrong of Russia to keep her because she brought drugs into their country. Come on, man. We are, I am, deeply proud of the work that the president has done, this administration has done, to get her. Um, uh, one thing that I can say is our, our counselor office, uh, officers in Moscow were able to, to make contact with Paul uh, on December 2nd. And uh, as, we, as we know from that time, he was, he was feeling well. He was in good health. But, um, and just one more. And just to clarify, on December 2nd, he wasn't aware that this was happening. It wasn't until today. Yeah, he was. We have made uh, Whelan aware of 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 this of um, of the uh, of the exchange that happened today. Okay. He's One aware. More on um, Brittany Griner. I, I understand how the deal went down and what the Russians were willing to give, but how do you dispel the public perception that if you are a celebrity or a professional athlete, you get preferential treatment in a situation like this? Look, I, I want to be very clear here, um, and I think we, we, you know, we tried to lay this out in, in a clear way as well. So the president did, and my colleagues, as you've heard from them from the NSC, this was not a choice uh, for us on of which American to bring home. That was not the choice. Uh, it was a choice between bring home one American or bring home none. So the choice was to bring home one or bring home none. And of course, um, who else would we go with? We would have to go with Brittany Grinder because Brittany is such a critical part of the community. She is a basketball player. She is, you know, a woman. She is black. She is LGBTQ plus I. So she has all of these great credentials and the choice was very clear. We wish we could have brought them both home, but in the at, at the end of the day, we picked the best person to bring home right now. That's simple and straight. We brought home the best person that we could bring, which was Brittany Grinder. And we do apologize to the family of uh, Whalen, but um, unfortunately, Whalen isn't. Whalen doesn't have all the credentials, so we had to go with Brittany. And we brought one home today. And that is important to note. And just like we were able to bring home Trevor Reed back in April, and uh, through every step of this process, we have sought to bring Paul Whalen home, and that will not change. That will continue to be our commitment. Uh, again, regrettably, due to nature of the total, totally illegitimate uh, charges they levied against Paul, uh, the Russians are treating this situation differently uh, than Brittany, Brittany's situation, and we have been unable to secure his release. If it wasn't for the Russians, we wouldn't even be in this situation. We wouldn't be in this place. It's the Russians' fault. It's Putin's fault. And we're just trying to do what we can. They gave us one person to take out, and we brought Brittany out. And that's all we can do. It's up to the Russians if they'll be able to, to do, you know, let another person out. We, had, we did what we could. It's the Russians' fault. It's Putin's fault. 
every possible offer available to us to secure Paul's release, uh, but there was no way to bring Paul home right now. Uh, we would have uh, preferred, of course, of course we would have preferred to see them both released. That's what we've been calling on. That's what you've been hearing from me and the president these past uh, this past year. I want to get your reaction to Paul Whelan's own words in response to this. He told uh, one of our colleagues that he you know, doesn't understand why he's still sitting there, that he's greatly disappointed that more has not been done to secure his release. So can you respond directly to him? Can you assure him that you are, in fact, now doing everything you can? Yeah. Look, I, I would refer, uh, refer you to the words of the president himself, right? This is something that we are committed to doing. And again, I'll, I'll repeat this because the president said this, and this is just repeating the president as well. It's like he understands how difficult a time this is for the family, Paul's family. He understands that. There are mixed emotions. Well, the simple answer is, Paul, unfortunately, you don't have all of the credentials. You know, what you've done has been great, but Brittany Grinder. She is on a different level. And so we had to bring her home over you. I'm sorry to say it this way, but this is the truth. You're not LGBTQ+. You're not black. You're not female. You're not going to win us any points in the public arena. You're not going to give us any points. But Brittany Grinder coming home, that's a win for us. We're gonna ride on that coattail for a while. We're gonna have press conferences. The LGBT community is gonna be with us. This is a good win. Now you just need to be a good team player and know that we're working to procure your releasement soon. Well, when, whenever Putin decides. But that's a, this is what you signed up for. You're a soldier. You just have to buck up until the next time you know, we can get you out. All right. Well, sorry again, Paul, but it's politics. It's the way it goes, man. It's the way it goes. Thank you, Green. In this prisoner swap, why did Russia get such a better deal? Look, you know, I've talked about this, uh, and I'll say this again. Here were our choices. Our choices was uh, Brittany or no one at all. Bringing home one American or no American at all. And, and they that's gave up a professional that's, athlete. We gave up a prolific arms dealer who was convicted of trying to kill Americans, who was called the merchant of death. This was an opportunity for us to secure good faith in the American people, for us to stand and shine in front of the American people. Yes, we gave up an arms dealer. Yes, we gave up somebody who was dangerous. But look at what we've gained. We've gained Brittany Grinder back. She's back home. That's a win. He can. If he said just a few days ago, he's not going to call Vladimir Putin until further notice. We were able to do this uh, through um, through different channels, right? We were able to do this uh, through uh, a, through different uh, avenues. Uh, folks from the U.S. Uh, at this time, we were not able to make that happen. But that does not stop us. That will not stop us in making sure uh, that's more work to be done. We will do more work to be done. We will do the work. But for right now, we brought our best person home, which was Brittany. Why is that so hard to understand? Yeah. All right, all right. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. James Curry, three questions. Uh, first on Brittany Griner, you mentioned that Brittany is a part of two communities, the black community and the LGBTQ plus, LGBTQ plus community. Um, there were, obviously, as you know, many advocacy groups and civil rights organizations that were rallying for her. 
to what degree was that helpful or impactful to the administration's work to bring her home? So look, I will just refer to you uh, to what Sherelle said. Uh, Sherelle Greiner uh, at said the, at the podium earlier today, right in the Roosevelt Room, you saw her speak to uh, to uh, the folks outside of her network, outside of the administration, who were who she uh, applauded and thanked for their support. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, does that matter? Of course that matters. My friend is yes. Her being black and her being LGBTQ plus makes a big difference. It made all the difference. That's why she's home because of those pluses. Okay. That's why she's home. Because she's black and because she's LGBTQ plus. If Paul Whelan was those things, He'd be home too. Can you take a question on the U.S. Africa Summit? Can you take a question on the U.S. Africa Summit? Go ahead. 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 I don't, I, I don't forget easy. I don't forget easy. I remember you from before and the questions that you posed when we had that whole scene with Dr. Fauci. I remember you and I'm not calling on you. And that's why I'm not calling on you. So you can rant and rave all you want to. I'm not calling on you. It is not hard. I've answered. I've. Would you let me answer the question, or are you going? Okay. Okay. I, I'm trying to answer your question. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. I just tried. You wouldn't let. I'm moving on. I have no time for you. I tried to answer your question, even though I really didn't. But I'm moving on. You're insignificant, and I'm not answering your questions. I just tried and you would not let me, sir. So your colleague is going to ask a question. Go ahead. No, I just, I literally just tried to answer your question. You shut me down. So now your colleague is going to. Okay. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm done. I'm done. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm done. We're not going to have this. I'm not going to be standing here like this. Uh-uh. I'm done. After all of that, friends. All I can muster up at this point is to say that this administration is a disgrace. They are a disgrace to the American people. They are a disgrace. They are a disgrace across the pond, in other nations, and here as well. How did we ever get into this position to have these kinds of people as leaders of America? I can't take it sometimes. I really can't take it sometimes to sit around and watch these videos and watch the stuff go down over and over and over again to see how disappointing and how these people put Americans last. They've let a killer free and loose and for what? And for what? Anyway, that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching, sharing, and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Who would you have taken home? The hero? The killer?